Hello everyone, I am Gabriele, welcome to my channel Playing Carnotaurus today with some frames per second drop And a huge mess against this board uh, Board AI is actually uh, cleverer than before I mean, uh, they, they change direction, they go left and right They go left and right, so they are uh, way more clever than uh, they were before it's, it's an improvement, it's an improvement A good improvement uh, so, what's my stats? I am 79% grown. By the way, at roughly 75% growth stage, your stats are, I mean, uh, both HP, like weight and bite force damage output is actually half of what uh, your damage output or uh, your HP would be at 100%. So at 75%, your stats are half of what your stats uh, will be at 100% uh, at least with Carnotaurus I have noticed I didn't pay attention much uh, uh, with other playables but uh, Carnotaurus definitely everything is uh, um, halfway halfway done so to say for a skirmish between 100% I think this um, hard Grow, grow. Uh, this hard uh, growth stage, this hard growing stats, uh, because it's it looks like it's uh, it's it's a very steep. It's very steep. You know, you need to be very big. You need to be at an advanced growth in order to have decent stats at least. Otherwise, it's like eh, meh. So even there is a huge difference, so to say, between a 95 and a hundred percent grown dinosaur. This was done in order to incentivate, I guess, roleplay, to make people uh, scare, more scared about their actions. I mean, you wanna play with skirmishes already, you have to risk a bit more because uh, the other player's stats might be uh, bigger than yours if you are not at 100% and there might be a huge difference in that. So I guess that was done in order to avoid people making skirmishes like uh, sometimes I do even at 75% there is no point for you to engage a hundred percent carno even though your uh, size is pretty much the same or similar so um, you, if you if you decide to engage a hundred percent carno check it there is a fish do you think that might be um, there might be a croc in there there is a chance there is a chance I need to drink though I need to drink I could drink somewhere else safer because uh, I'm going in the forest now, I'm going in the forest, or, or probably not, it's not a good idea. I wanted to go northwest, but through the forest, crossing Mossy uh, River, crossing Mossy River. Uh, I'm not entirely sure it's a good idea now. Uh, no, it is a good idea, actually, it's a good idea. Uh, yeah, it, it's a very good idea, I like it. Um, by the time I reach northwest, I might be uh, a bit bigger, a bit stronger. And uh, I, I wanna go there for a skirmish and check me. I'm not at 100%. By the way, by by the time I reach uh, northwest, I will probably be 90%, 95, not not, not 100%. Um, so if I wanna get into a skirmish at that percentage, yeah, not a good idea because there is a huge difference between your stats at 100% and your stats at 95%. Uh, you have to avoid this kind of conflicts you have to uh, play peacefully to uh, in order to survive at least uh, to that uh, higher percentage of growth i guess it was done in order to avoid useless skirmishes or treating the game as a battle royale as sometimes me and others do uh, i play only on officials by the way only on officials if i were to play on uh, servers with rules i would respect them even though I know that some rules um, are very much at the whims of uh, people in power in that server because uh, you find loops in these rules the only rules you should be playing with are the rules dictated by the mechanics in game so to say uh, the mechanic in game that makes Carnotaurus uh, uh, better at escaping at times it is its speed, it's very fast, it's a mechanic so you are kind of safer in that way um, herbivores, they suck at running away because their speed is uh, uh, too slow so you should be playing by the mechanic of hide uh, whenever you can if you're not strong enough if you do not feel strong enough 
to uh, fight whatever is around you. Instead, if you play something like uh, uh, Carnotaurus or uh, any Carnivore, you can even risk a bit more, even though you are not strong in skirmishes, I mean, because Carnivores uh, compared to Herbivores are not strong, are not as strong in skirmishes of same tier, let's say uh, Carno versus Teno, Utah versus Paki, same tier, made tier, made uh, small tier, so to say. Um, so you can afford a bit more risk, but you rely on uh, food, on meat that is not so frequent, it's not so often as if uh, uh, you are playing a herbivore. It's easier to find food, but uh, it's not easy to escape some situations as a herbivore, I'm, I'm saying. By the way, ping, you always need to check your ping. If ping is too high, you need to stop by hiding if you are uh, somewhere uh, near a hotspot and then start back again when your ping is getting better. Now my ping is very high. I usually have 70, 80 at most. Well, 90 at most. When my fooling, you can see it. Um, all right, uh, I'm going very much, uh, uh, I'm, I'm following very much Mossy River. This is the river that is pouring into um, Pocket River later on, which is uh, the, the river at center, so to say and um, I'm going close by I think Utah Rock or what was called Utah Rock in update 2 now this is update 5.5 6, update 6 is about to arrive at any moment now any moment means uh, any month I mean uh, in the next 6 months probably <laughs> so yeah but uh, anyway uh, I'm looking for a very shallow spot in this river. All of these things, all of these uh, little knowledge uh, in game of the map or uh, of the stats you have against other players, against other playables, other dinosaurs, other animals, other humans when humans come out, will well will make you stretch the possibilities of your gameplay, and that's very interesting in my opinion. That's very interesting. You can reach a meta, a meta uh, game, so to say, a meta game among players faster. You can reach a meta game faster. That, that, that's great. That's great. So uh, once the game gets to an er out of early access, I mean, uh, it's not anytime soon. Uh, things will be uh, more ready than uh, uh, they are, and. Uh, Thankfully, the Isle, a prima bubble, has uh, a huge, uh, um, a huge amount of players. I mean, I see a huge amount of players usually. Depends on the timetable you play at, but uh, if I play at night, usually ser servers are full, depending on time of, on uh, the day of the week too. Uh, it's good. It's good. You reach a meta faster on officials, on officials, so you know how players are gonna play how uh, if players are still gonna play a cannibal dinosaurs in clusters like Dinosuchus. I'm doing my best not to play it in clusters, in groups, Dinosuchus. It's cannibal, it's to be played solo in my opinion, if you wanna ambush successfully, if you do not want to rely on uh, other players that are looking for a skirmish against your Dinosuchus. Um, th there is everything, there is everything. All right, almost uh, northwest. Um, um, I'm satisfied with the short cut that I took, so to say, uh, rabbit there. Server restarted 15 minutes ago, so finding food, finding AI should not be a problem at all. Now, if you're moving in a prairie, my, uh, like Carnotaurus, like I am doing now with my Carnotaurus, and uh, you are moving uh, using free look, I always advise to use uh, uh, the sniffing button Q so your head won't actually turn right or left if there is anyone watching you checking out on you looking around they won't have any idea which side you are looking at I'm sniffing so my head is not turning right my head is not turning left I stop sniffing my head is turning left uh, it's uh, uh, something that you are saying to possible players possible opponents that you have around you. Um, it, I think it's, it's good to know that. It's good to know. I, I usually 
I, I usually take into account which direction other players are looking at, what directions other players are looking at before engaging them. So I have a rough idea if I will be able to surprise them with an attack, if I will be able to ambush them uh, with better odds, so to say, because uh, sometimes it's just a matter of uh, probabilities, uh, kind of, and luck. All right. Oh, oh, I am this big that I can uh, uh, lift a board. All right, all right. It's been a while then uh, that I haven't played Carnot Towers and picking up this big food. Well, fair enough. Fair enough, I'm gonna take it up here in the middle of the prairie, a bit far away from, uh, well, from bushes, obviously. Do I wanna get uh, ambushed by Pachycolodoruses or by other Carnotauruses? No way, no way. Uh, I'm not keeping into account Eutraptors because I do need a big swarm of Eutraptors, a big pack of Eutraptors in order to take down my Carnotaurus. Even now, because I am fast, I am fast, I'm not at 100%, so, I stand some chances running away, so to say. All right, uh, thank you, Boar. I'm getting closer and closer to northwest. At which percentage? 87. Earlier than expected. Now, mind it. My bite force is not 175. Is 125. Well, 124. So there is a difference of bite force of 50. It's uh, it's a big difference if you take into account that you can bite a Utahraptor head and uh, make double damage, so to say. Instead of 350, you will be making only 250 points of damage on such Eutaraptor, uh, and so on, and so on, on the head, I guess. If the multiplier is two when uh, you attack a, a head, when uh, you inflict damage on a head, I'm not entirely sure about the two multiplier, multiplier by two uh, against uh, uh, any head. Your body is split into head, body and tail, head takes uh, double the damage, body takes normal damage and tail takes half the damage, roughly, that's how I understand it, but I'm not entirely sure about uh, uh, the multipliers, uh, about by two, by half, uh, by one, I'm not entirely sure, well, body should be normal damage, anyway, by one, alright, getting closer and closer, here, you want to cross, for ex well, you know it already, but uh, I usually cross uh, uh, in the narrowest spot here. And, sorry, mosquito. Um, I want to get to the B up to the big rock. I want to get on the big rock because uh, uh, my only enemy, it's not Eutaraptors anymore. It's going to be, oh, check it, plenty of food. There is a big swarm of something down there. Carnotaurus. Do I trust Carnos? I don't trust Carnos. I don't trust Carnos. You don't trust Carnos. If you see any Carno around and uh, you sniff, I mean, uh, you've seen me, right? Sniffing. You see um, an icon with uh, red dinosaurs. I mean, what that might be? Plenty of dinosaurs in one spot. It might be uh, plenty of Carnotauruses. That, by the way, I say nothing in chat. This is never a good sign. I mean, even if they talk in chat, it's not a good sign. But uh, if they do not talk in chat, they are definitely not gonna be friendly to you. So you wanna move out if you wanna uh, grow to 100%. I wanna grow to 100% and then I will go back there and I can think of facing one Carnotaurus. One versus two Carnos, well, it's just... Uh, numbers there, two Carnos are always stronger than one Carno. I mean, uh, same species, if the group is bigger, you should win uh, with your bigger group. Okay, some Ipsis though, but are they in my diet? They aren't, they aren't, all right. That's good. Um, hunger of, of a Carnotaurus is super fast to deplete. The decay of your hunger is uh, abysmally fast. So you need to keep moving or to keep killing, so to say. Y you are kind of an apex predator yourself. I mean, uh, one Eutaraptor doesn't stand a chance against you. Two Eutaraptors, um, very little chance. Three Eutaraptors, they might stand a good chance against you, but we are talking about a group of three against uh, one. So, yeah. And just because they can consume your stamina. And because of your turning radius, of course, uh, Carnotaurus turning radius is not great. It's not great. 
Okay, I wanna go there because I see something moving. Is it a class? It, it, that's a group uh, of uh, boars. I think I've seen uh, uh, like uh, a group of five boars or four boars all together. Kinda. One, two, three, four, and five all together. It was uh, alright. I mean, uh, I mean, never seen it, but uh, it, it's nice to see. It gives away more life. Our group of more AI all together. Plus, uh, boars. Now, can, yeah. I still have to get used to this. Uh, you can uh, pick up boars, blading, blading boars. Okay, I'm gonna drop it and uh, have a last snack. Well, that's all for today. Uh, I have gone up to northwest from south uh, west that I was, and uh, I decided not to cross uh, uh, that river because there was another Carnotaurus which growth stage might have been bigger than mine or I might have seen more than one playable altogether against mine and uh, that's not a good idea just because the icon uh, of uh, multiple players all in one spot popped up in my heading so if you see that multiple dinosaurs red icon in your heading yeah do not approach unless you are ready for a skirmish unless you are ready for uh, uh, losing your dinosaur yeah it doesn't matter if you do not find food anywhere else it's a risk you are taking anyway it's a risk it's a risk it's brutal sometimes it's uh, uh it's uh, frustrating but it's uh, the beauty of difficult of the game that uh, makes it good in my opinion again it is my opinion in my opinion on officials thank you all so much for watching consider subscribing my channel and uh, have a great day well come on say bye bye and give away your position give away your position